What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here. Welcome to Paradise E6 YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be working on the Datsun. We're gonna get a bunch of stuff finished up that I've just been putting off and it's been super busy lately and I have exciting news about the Corvette, but let's talk about the Datsun. So I did get these pieces made up. We have to just weld these in, get these finalized. And then right here's the worst of the rust for the back half. We're gonna cut this whole area out, just weld in a, a brand new piece of flat sheet metal and i want to close up this gap right here fill in this metal cut this out that we need to cut out and get this finished the goal is to have this done get this metal work done get these plates welded in completely and then we have a couple spot repairs under here so if you see this it's not even that bad what i'm going to do is i'm just going to clean this off make sure that that's good to go but underneath here so you can see this is like a frame rail box section here or whatever. I'm gonna try and cut this out with the bad metal that's under here and probably weld in a piece of angle iron just to give it a little bit more structure there. And then for the most part, that's all done for the rust repair. And back here, I want to cut this out and weld in a new piece of metal. So I'm gonna cut this out, figure out what size I need. I'm probably just gonna go with whatever two inch two inches is so I'll cut this body line right here as you can see where the old bumper used to made up and we'll just get some two inch metal go down two inches and just leave it as that because once the exhaust and all that stuff is done I'm going to build a custom splitter back here we're probably going to do that out of either thin sheet metal or this uh, aluminum corrugated board still haven't decided how exactly I want to make it yet but that's the goal with that and then I'll eventually because I want to practice carbon fiber wrapping stuff so normally when you make a carbon fiber piece you make a mold and do all that crazy stuff to just get the piece made out of full carbon and i'm not really worried about weight on this thing we're gonna be sub 2,000 pounds when this thing's done anyway so i'm gonna make the splitter and then we're gonna just do a carbon fiber overlay on top of it just to give it that look and make it look cool because i am going with a carbon fiber uh three-piece wing on this and I do want to make a carbon fiber splitter for the front bottom of this. So we're going to dabble in that a little bit. But Corvette wise, the motor's getting picked up tomorrow. The only thing that I'm going to have to do is do, I'm going to do every single seal on it. Put, we're going to um, put the heads on it, time it, put the camshaft back in, put everything back together probably tomorrow. And I want to have it ready so I can install the motor on Friday because Friday is going to be the only nice day. So I'm going to go into work early, finish up early, and then it should only take like three or four hours to get the motor actually in as long as everything's ready, which everything's all sorted and ready to go and ready to put that thing back in. So I'm hoping that I can drive it this weekend and fingers crossed that we get more nice days so I can actually drive it around but we will be taking it down south to go to the racetrack and do a bunch of fun stuff during the winter time anyway so but I do want to drive it again very very excited to get the motor back but let's start uh knocking out some of this metal work cutting out what's bad and start welding in what's new All right, guys, as you saw, we got the metal welded in here, got the plates put in here, got 
a little bit of welding on the roll cage just because I was hopping around just so I don't keep the heat all in the same place and finishing up most of that. We didn't get to the wheel well. Again, like this metal work always takes 10 times longer than I think it will. And I'm trying to move the process a little bit faster, but all this tedious work is just taking up a lot of time. So we got as much as we could done today. This was probably about three hours worth of work today. I wanna to make sure I still have time to go to the gym and keep up with everything and my meals and all that kind of stuff too. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, I'm gonna try and post a little bit more of my gym stuff. Not too much, because I'm not really big on all that kind of stuff. Like I've been doing the gym for probably about 12 years and it's just not what I wanna put out there. I don't like doing selfies and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather just post car stuff. But I am gonna be posting a little bit more of the, the gym stuff just because I wanna keep myself in check and keep everything flowing the way it is because quarantine, everything just, the gym shutting down it just sucked and i want to make sure i keep back at it because that's one of my first things that i love i've been doing it for probably about 12 years and bodybuilding for right around six now so yeah so i'm gonna end it there i wish we got a little bit more done but when we come in next time we'll finish up the welding on the roll cage touch up a couple more things on the fuel cell we got the bad metal that's out under here we just have to replace that frame rail with some uh angle iron and then all that's pretty much done. And we're just gonna focus on the wheel wells, getting those finished and tidying up any little patch welding that we have to get done there. And most of the rust repair is complete, except for I am waiting on the sill for this. And I'm probably gonna pull the hatch in here soon because I cannot for the life of me find anyone that even makes a fire. I would love to put a fiberglass hatch on this, but I cannot find one for the life of me. If you guys know any companies that make fiberglass, fiberglass hatches for z's let me know send me a link i'd, I'd spend upwards of 800 dollars just to get a nice decent one uh even in, in carbon fiber it's just i don't understand why nobody makes a hatch they make hoods for this thing no hatches it's impossible to find metal anything like that so yeah hopefully maybe you guys can find one for me and send me the link for that drop in the comment section below but we're gonna end it there tomorrow i'll probably film picking up the the motor and go exactly over what we got done and why it took a five week process but it's finally coming and we can start driving the car again but yeah so i'm gonna end it there i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you got any questions whatsoever drop them in the comment section below and get ready for some corvette content because once we're able to drive it i want to film a shit ton of stuff because when i did have it i didn't film much i only had it for maybe like two months after we finished it and it blew up so yeah I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.